this is a molecule of phosphorus chloride tetrafluoride so we can see there are four fluorine atoms and one chlorine atom and we look from the front view from the side view this molecule has trigonal bipyramidal shape we look from the top view this molecule has 120 degree angle here all right so now we want to find out the symmetry element separation for this molecule so because this molecule has one different atom chlorine atom so we look from the top view i can see that we cannot rotate 120 degree but we can rotate 180 degree which is we need to find out the c2 axis so where is the c2 axis the c2 axis is here parallel with the p and chlorine atom the bond between phosphorus and chlorine so we look when we rotate 180 degree through this c2 axis the top fluorine atom will go to the down and this fluorine will go to there so we rotate we get the same configuration all right so we put the c2 axis we draw next we find the plane for this molecule so again it is easier for us to look from the top view like this so i can see that we can find one plane which is cutting through here like this so the plane cutting through the phosphorus and chlorine bond so the plane cutting through here so we can see we will get the same configuration so this plane actually parallel with the main axis c2 because the c c2 just now is here and then we find another plane which is cutting through here and here so this plane also parallel with the main axis c2 so fluorine at the top reflect through this plane will be down here same configuration so there are two vertical plane first one here and another one is here which is passing through center here okay so now we want to list all the symmetry elements operation for this molecule identity c1 c2 main axis and we find two vertical planes all right we just want to check because this molecule has c2 axis can this molecule has s2 so we look here because we know that s2 is equivalent with the center of symmetry so we find the center of symmetry we put the center here and then because this molecule has one different atom chlorine so this chlorine inverse through this center will be here so we don't get the same configuration this one as well this fluorine passing through inverse through the center will be here so we don't get the same configuration so no center of symmetry and no s2 symmetry elements operation all right so now we want to determine the point group for this molecule so this molecule is not linear and also not tetrahedral and also not octahedral so we look at the list of the symmetry elements operation here the main axis is c2 
no C2 perpendicular with the main axis. So it means that our option is rotational point group. So C and H or C and V. Alright, so because the plane is vertical here, so it means that the point group for this molecule is C2 V. So this is the point group for this molecule. 